It's the match preview for our London derby, Chelsea versus West Ham, Premier League. Um, I've got to be honest, I was quite looking forward to this game a few weeks ago. I was thinking, God, this is going to be quite exciting. London derby, Chelsea, well, we'll talk about Chelsea in a minute, but erratic to say uh, at the very least. Um, I'm thinking this could be a game that we could possibly get something, get a bit of revenge over them from last season at Stamford Bridge. And, um, you know, it'd be a big game for us for in terms of our quest for European football. But it's not the case, is it? Let's be honest. There, there's European football has, has, has gone, in, in my opinion. Now I think the results are just not working out for us. We needed, um, you know, we needed a lot to go in our, our way, and also us to win at Chelsea, beat Luton, and possibly even get something Man City. It's, it's just hard now to have much hope that um, West Ham are going to get seventh. I think it's just, I personally think it's going to be Newcastle getting that spot. Um, it, it, it's a sad ending to the season. Actually, I feel, uh, I, I'm sure you feel the same. Actually, a little bit deflated. You know, it's. Um, one that you kind of feel now like I kind of just want summer to happen, start getting this rebuild at West Ham, new manager, etc. But look, it's still, you know, we've got f- football to play and we want to do well. And uh, let's be honest, Chelsea, if, if they're not at it, which they're, uh, many times this season they haven't been, um, we stand a good chance of getting something there. But you just don't know what Chelsea are going to show up. It really is hard. As I recall this, actually, I'm recording this a little bit earlier uh, than usual. So they're actually um, playing Spurs at the moment. So um, I, obviously, I don't know the result of that exactly. But again, it's such a hard team to predict, uh, Chelsea. And I, I found that throughout this season, you know, when you're doing the score predictions and stuff, you just don't know what you're going to get from them. Very, very strange football club. Let's talk about them quickly, though. Um, Pochettino, I mean, amazing appointment. Really, sh- I, I did not see him taking that job. Really didn't get it. Pochettino is massively highly rated uh, in world football, isn't he? Um, and had been for his work that he'd done at Tottenham uh, and obviously Southampton prior to that, etc. cetera. Um, I, I expected him to find that kind of right job for himself. You know, I was expecting that to happen for him, but he, he, he hasn't. He, he, you know, he's, he's chosen Chelsea, which I find peculiar. I, you know, the money side of it, I'm sure is very good, but they are just all over the place with this new owner. I, I, I cannot get the grips of them. And I think you see that in terms of their performances. I think their kind of season sums the club up. Um, financially, they're all over the place in trying to keep up with financial fair play rules. Uh, I think their owners even sold this hotel, I believe. I think that's happened just so they could they, they fall in line then with financial fair play. I mean, it's it really is crazy in the player contract stuff. We'll come to that in a second. But yeah, Pochettino, um, bizarre choice. But, you know, he's there and he's a good manager. And, and you still, you get the feeling that they will come good under him. He will get them um, there. But it's whether they're going to stick with him. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I get the feeling with this ownership, they're, they're quite knee-jerk. They're, 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 they're not um, long-term planners. I think they, um, they want success and they want it fast like that you know they've not had a great season they've not you know in terms of what they've achieved um so you wonder what next season is going to bring i don't think they can get away with it possibly going to get away with it again next year i'll tell you if, if they're a season season down mid table etc i don't think it will last long and yeah it's it's hard to see where they're going as a club at the moment chelsea it's really weird and you know being a west Ham fan quite um yeah, enjoyable to watch at times, actually. But uh, yeah, I, I I don't understand the owner. I, I don't understand his kind of philosophy and what he's trying to do there. It almost feels like he's like a kid, you know, a playing championship manager. It just seems very odd, you know, the way he's going about business. He's putting these ridiculous contracts in place just to get players for the door, putting them on ridiculously high salaries. He's paying huge transfer fees, huge agent fees having to sell parts of their you know, stadium to, to then not break financial rules. It just feels a bit chaotic. It doesn't feel sustainable. Do you know what I mean? If you feel like if, that, if, if that's the, the kind of approach to running the football club, well, where are they going to be in five years? I, I, it's, it's very hard to say. And I know a couple of Chelsea fans who feel very concerned and, and very angry, actually, towards the owner. So um, it is hard um, to see a sort of bright future at the moment for Chelsea. It, it really is. Um, um, but that being said, they could well finish above West Ham this season, you know, which shows how much we've tailed off. You know, it weren't long ago we were in the talk for top six. You know, it really wasn't too long ago. At the beginning of the season, we were get, beating some you know, big sides and getting points on the board early. It did feel like this could be a great season. So the, the fact is now that we are now in a position where probably could be finishing below Chelsea, considering how, as I've said, erratic um, they have been on and off the pitch. It, it, it's quite damning, isn't it, in regards to West Ham and what's happened this, this season? But one big lie I wanted to before I've gone to West Ham uh, for Chelsea is Cole Palmer, of course. I mean, 
incredible talent. You can go back and do the video of him over the summer that we could have well had him, um, Palmer. He was going to be possibly a part of the, the Paqueta deal that's going to see Paqueta go to Man City. And we could have had Cole Palmer. Uh, I mean, incredible player. He's He's been exceptionally good for them. And for his age and how confident he is and how well he's taken to the Premier League, like it's just, uh, you know, like nothing really. He's just, it's been seamless. He's, he's transitioned from that sort of level to, to, to top level football has been amazing. And yeah, I, I can't speak highly enough of him. You know, he's been, he's been amazing, amazing player, amazing sign of a Chelsea. I, I didn't expect that kind of impact. Obviously we knew he'd be a good player. Um, considering the fact he's come through Man City's academy and was featuring a fair bit for Man City. He wasn't he towards the end of his time there, but yeah, I don't think anyone could have predicted this, um, kind of rise, this sharp rise into the game. And uh, it's great for England. It's, it's good for everyone. It's, it's great. I'm, I'm really, really pleased uh, for him. Uh, it's good to see him. And it's, it's great to see that kind of, um, that, that somewhat, that, that, you know, like it goes against what David Moyes says. Do you know what I mean? David Moyes has always got this sort of belief, isn't he, about academy and, oh, it takes a long time. Oh, it takes a long time for academy. I, I, I hate that. I really hate that. And I, I love to see the fact that Cole Palmer's just come straight into the side, bang. And, and proven that kind of theory wrong, that actually young players can come and do a, a job and can be successful early on. We've, we've seen it over the years and, yeah, yeah, remarkable. Really, really good player. And it's just it's gutting in it that we missed out because we could have got him. We could have got him. I know we, had, we kept Paqueta. That was obviously the, the, the plus point for us this season. But, of course, uh, we'll talk about him in a minute and his future quickly and his kind of performances of late. But, yeah, kind of helped. But look on it with a bit of envy now at Chelsea, isn't it? Thinking he could have been our player because he's remarkably good. Um, on to West Ham, as I say, um, this is a disappointing end to the season. There's, there's no getting around it. It, it is. It's, it's not been a dreadful season. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to come across all doom and gloom. It, it could have been a lot worse. Look, last season, although we won a trophy, let's be honest, domestically was pretty crap. We were in a relegation battle all season. We haven't had that. So that's been a, a, certainly a plus point. It just feels like an opportunity missed again, doesn't it, from West Ham? A, a short-sighted view. We didn't do well in January in the terms of the transfer market. And then we, we're just burnt out. We, we've got no squad. We've got no squad depth. And it's just been crazy. And, and I talk about Chelsea being erratic. Well, we're not far behind it, really. We're, we're really not. We are a very unstable club at the moment with no real clear direction. It, it's something that we really needs addressing this summer. Um, and, and fast. And David Moyes' future, of course, is just seems to be all over the press constantly. I talked about in a video yesterday in terms of his fallout with Tim Stuyton. We just don't need this. You know what I mean? It really is not needed. It's, it's not helping the situation at all. Um, Europe's gone. Uh, we know that. We're, we're not really fighting for much now, apart from pride. For, and, and we want to finish as high as we can. I, oh, come on, please finish at least. Please finish above Chelsea. Please, I don't want to be finishing below them. That would be so disappointing, wouldn't it, considering the, the season they've had. Um, and it would be nice, of course, always to finish above someone like that. Like that. So, um, yeah, it's it's hard to get up for this game. I'm hard. I'm, I'm struggling to get really excited about it. Like I said, I, a few weeks ago, I was, I was thinking, gosh, you know what, that'd be a great day. But look, if we can go to Chelsea and get, and get a decent result, then I'd be, I will, of course, be chuffed. And it'd be nice. As I say, I want to finish the season on a high. Let's get as many points as we can. Let's try and finish in a decent position and then draw a line under this season and draw a line, hopefully, on the manager and, and the whole situation and a lot of these players and start a rebuild and, and, and move forward as a football club. Um, I'll tell you what, though, it's not all bad, though. I mean, Jared Bowen has been remarkable, hasn't he? His form, since coming back from injury, I mean, he's been outstanding. He was he was excellent against Liverpool. He really was. And I've got to say as well, I, I, which has surprised me more than anything, is Mikel Antonio. Uh, got injured in, early in the season, didn't he, when playing for Jamaica? He was out for, what, two months, two, three months? Uh, that, you know, a, a fair chunk of time. Um, a lot of talk of it possibly in his last season. He's, we've now discovered he's now signed a new contract, which is great news. You know, we're, we're all pleased about that. But... It's his form. I mean, he's come back. He's just been he's been outstanding for us. He's been really good. He's at beast mode, proper beast mode, Antonio. You know what I mean? It's it's great to see it. And yeah, I'd I'd, I'd love it again. And I'll, for him, Bowen, best Bowen especially because of England. You know, you want to see them finish well. Let's finish the season on a high as best we can. Um, before going to the team, though, Lucas Paqueta. I mean, certainly out of form. Um, it's looking likely he's going, isn't it? It is looking more than likely. But again, it's, it's not certain, OK? These allegations are still hanging over. Man City are not going to buy Lucas Paqueta for 90 million quid, not knowing what's going on with his future in terms of a betting scandal. Because if, if, he, if he gets back caught, found guilty, he could be facing a year or plus, you know what I mean, ban. So there's a chance Paqueta isn't going. Uh, I spoke to X a little while ago about, go about this, and his words were basically that like it's not certain it really isn't sh certain yet that he's off i mean it's looking more likely he will i i, I grant you I, I think that is true but 
It's not certain. And he's another player we need to see step up. And much like Kudus as well. It feels like these two players who have been so, so good at times this season. I mean, when we talk about good, we're talking top level. Could be playing for any club in this league. Um, seem to be sort of tailing off. And yeah, we don't need that. We really don't. Let's, let's, let's hope that we can um, get back to playing some decent football uh, against Chelsea on Sunday. Um, this is my team. I want to know your team and I want to know your predictions. Of course, if you get the prediction right, you enter our draw and you win something free from our shop. Um, so, yeah, please do. It's free to enter. So, And also, if you're not a subscriber, by the way, it's free to do so. Uh, it works out, by the way, about about 40% of you watching this aren't subscribers. So why don't you just click it? It's free to do so. And you follow us on this journey and uh, you know, it helps the channel out. This is my team. This is what I'm going for. It's, it's really no surprises, honestly. I think everyone's going to go, yeah, we know exactly. You could pretty much predict it. Right, here we go. So Ariana in goal, Soufal, Mavropanos, Zuma and Emerson. Oh, sorry, uh, Mavropanos, yeah, Zuma and Emerson. Um, midfield of Alvarez and Suchek with Paqueta playing ahead of them both in the, through the middle. I've got to have Jared Bowen out on the right, Mohamed Kudus out on the left and Mikel Antonio up front. My prediction... I'm sorry to say, I think we're going to lose. I, I, I'm not confident at the moment. I'm not feeling good about West Ham at the moment, as you can probably tell. A bit frustrated. I, I want the season to end. I'm, I'm at that point now. I want it to end on a high, of course, but I, I just, I've kind of had enough of it now. Um, I want to draw a line. I want to see a change at West Ham. I really do. And see, start getting a bit excited about the future because at the moment it just feels like we're sort of treading water. Um, and I, I just don't get a good feeling about this game at the moment. I really hope I'm wrong. Really do. But I'm, I'm, I've gone for 2 0 two to Chelsea, uh, which is a bit painful to say. Um, so, yeah, let us know your thoughts. It's going to, whatever it is, look, it's a London derby. Let's go and win it. Come on, you irons. 